Hey, it's Matt from Practice Perfect. Welcome back to the Accelerated Learning Center. Today I'm going to show you how to unapply a payment. Let's get started. Step 1. Sometimes mistakes are made and payments are entered incorrectly. In such cases, it may be necessary to unapply a payment. Unapplying a payment will first remove the payment from a specific treatment line and then, if you wish, remove it from the patient's financial record altogether. However, it is not the same as doing a refund. And you don't necessarily need to unapply a payment if you've made a simple error in something like the payment method or the description. Those can be edited pretty easily. Now, begin by selecting a patient and then go to either their activities by services or activities by invoices page. For the sake of this video, we'll be looking at the activities by invoices page. Step two. This screen provides you with a comprehensive list of every single invoice that was ever produced for this patient. If the patient has any unapplied payments, they will always appear here at the top of the list. An unapplied payment is a payment made on the patient's behalf or by the patient, which has not yet been applied to a specific service or invoice. It's like an on-account payment. We'll be circling back to this in just a minute. To see all of the payments associated with an invoice, click the small white box, otherwise known as the expand icon, in the leftmost column. This expands the list and provides you with information about the services rendered and the payment received. To unapply a payment, simply flag it and select the wastebasket icon. Doing so will cause this dialog box to pop up. By clicking yes, you will undo the whole batch payment, while clicking no will only undo the individual selected payments. For example, this patient paid these two invoices at the same time, and I'd like to unapply the payment from both of them. In this case, I'd select yes to undo the whole batch payment. However, if I only need to unapply a single payment, Despite the fact that they were paid at the same time, I would select No to undo the individual selected payments. Note that this selection is relevant if you're only dealing with a single payment on a single invoice, or if you're unapplying a payment from the Activities by Service section, which we'll review right now. Step 3. Alternatively, if you wish to unapply a payment from the Activities by Service screen, you can simply flag the payment and select the wastebasket icon on the function bar. You'll be asked to confirm the action and upon doing so, the amount will be added to the unapplied payment section at the top of the screen. Step 4. Now remember that part that I mentioned earlier? When you unapply a payment, it is always going to be added to this section here, since the money still exists, but it's no longer attached to a specific service or invoice. If you want to keep the payment on file, but leave it unapplied, then your task ends here. If you want to completely remove the payment from the patient's record as if it never happened, continue on. Again you'll need to click the expand icon in the leftmost column to see all of the items in the list. You can then flag it and select the wastebasket icon to remove all traces of the payment from the patient's record. Upon doing so, you'll have successfully unapplied a payment. It's really important to note that if you delete an unapplied payment that was part of a batch payment, you'll also delete all of the applied payments that were a part of that batch too. It will then be necessary to re-enter the payments for the individual invoices. Thanks for visiting. Be sure to check out the other accelerated learning videos at practiceperfectemr.com.